Yes, let's move to the another question paper that you need. Uh, that's a previous year solved question paper. This is a series of previous year solved question paper. Let's get into the first question of this video. Okay, so now what is given? X is sine square 45, tan square 45, cot square 30, sine square 45 and all this given. So what we need to know, first we need to know the sine 45. How much is sine 45? 1 by root 2, right? So sine square 45 will be what? This whole square. So 1 by root 2 whole square. 1 by root 2 whole square is what? 1 over 2. Again, in the next question, what is uh, sine 45? Quad, tan 45, right? Tan 45 is what? 1. So tan square 45 will be also 1 square. That is 1 itself. So the next thing we need to know is cot 30. So cot 30 degree is nothing but root 3, right? Cot 30 is root 3. So cot square 30 is nothing but root 3 whole square. That is 3. And the next one. Sin 45 we know cos 45. So cos 45 degree is again 1 by root 2. So if I have cos square 45 degree, this will become 1 by root 2 whole square. That is 1 by 2. So let's substitute in the formula. So x into what is sin square 45? 1 by 2. So x times 1 by 2 is equal to tan square 45. 1. Plus cot square 30. Cot square 30 is how much? 3. Right? Divided by sin square 45 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 so let's solve this so x by 2 is equal to 1 plus 3 1 plus 3 is 4 over 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 1 so x will be equal to 2 times 4 4 times 2 x is equal to 8 did you get the x value so no yes okay let's go to the next question see now we have to find a secant pi by 3. Second pi by 3 means what? Second 60 degree. Second 60 means cos 60. How much is cos 60? 1 by 2. So if I reverse it, I will get 2. In the next question we have cosecant pi by 6. Pi by 6 means what? 30 degree. So cosecant 30. But we don't remember cosecant 30. We have to remember sin 30. So sin 30 is how much? 1 by 2. Cosecant that will be again 2. Right? Next we need tan pi by 4. Tan pi by 4 that means nothing but tan 45 degree that is how much? 1. Again sin pi by 3 is required. So what is sin pi by 3? Sin pi by 3 means sin 60 degree. How much is sin 60 degree? That is root 3 by 2. Right. So we need let's substitute this back into the question. So secant square is there. So secant square means 2 square. So let's substitute it. 4 by 3 times secant pi by 3 is 2. Secant square will be 2 square, right? So 2 square minus cosecant this is 2. This will begin 2 square plus 3 by 4 times tan square. That is 1 square, 1 square, right? So minus 2 times pi by 3, pi by 3 is 60, uh, sorry, this is root 3 by 2 whole square. So, that will become 3 by 4. See here, root 3 by 2 whole square is what? Root 3 square is 3, 2 square is 4. So, 3 by 4. So, let's solve this. 2 square, 4, 4 into 4, 16, 16 over 3 minus 2 square, 4 plus 3 by 4 into 1 is 3 by 4. So, minus 2, uh, 2 times 3 by 4, that is 6 by 4. 4. Now, see here, 16 by 3, if I take a denominator as 1, 1 into 16, 16 minus 3 into 4, 12 over 3 plus, again, that uh, LCM is 4 itself, 3 minus 6 is how much? Minus 3. Now, if I solve this, what will happen? Uh, 16 minus 12 is 4 over 3, plus into minus, minus 3 over 4. Let's take an LCM. So, this into this, 16 minus 3 into 3 is 9. Four, 3 into 4 is 12. So 16 minus 9 is how much? 7 over 12. This is the final answer. Okay. Let's move to the next questions. Okay. To solve this question, we have to know the quadrant system. So what are quadrants? There are four quadrants. This is 0, 90, 180, 270 and 360. Don't forget to check out our video on quadrant system. We have made it in the playlist. Please go back that video if you don't know the quadrants and what quadrant what are positive. If you don't know that, please go and check it. Okay. This is first quadrant. This is second quadrant. Third 
एंड फोर्थ क्वाड्रेंट सो लेट्स सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन साइन ऑफ 90 माइनस 90 माइनस 90 माइनस इज फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट सो आई हैव टू टेक पॉजिटिव एंड साइन इट्स अ कॉम्प्लीमेंटरी एंगल सो 90 विल 90 इज अ कॉम्प्लीमेंटरी सो साइन विल बिकम cos देयर इज अ थीटा जस्ट टेक थीटा डिवाइडेड बाय अगेन cos ऑफ 360 माइनस 360 माइनस दैट इज अ फोर्थ क्वाड्रेंट फोर्थ क्वाड्रेंट cos इज पॉजिटिव आई हैव टू टेक पॉजिटिव एंड इट्स एन सप्लीमेंटरी एंगल सो cos विल रिमेन एज इट इज एंड देयर इज अ थीटा सो लेट्स टेक थीटा प्लस secant of 3 pi by 2 means how much 3 pi by 2 is 270 degree 270 degree plus theta 270 plus this is again the fourth quadrant fourth quadrant secant is positive i'll take this as positive and uh, this is the complementary secant will be converted into cosecant and theta right in the denominator cosecant of pi plus pi plus that is a which quadrant third quadrant in third quadrant cosecant is negative so i have to take minus cosecant theta right Again, we have a plus, so let's take plus here. Tan of 180 minus 180 minus this will come into second quadrant. In second quadrant, tan is negative, so I have to take minus tan theta divided by. Again, tan of minus theta minus theta means theta zero in downside. That is the fourth quadrant. In fourth quadrant, tan is negative, so again I have to take minus tan theta. Now see here, cos theta by cos theta, cos theta by cos theta. This get get cancel, so I'll have one. Plus, sorry, plus, ah, uh, plus into minus is minus. Cosecant theta by cosecant theta that again get cancelled. I will also remain it as one. So minus and minus get cancelled. I will take plus. Tan theta, tan theta get cancelled. I will remain with one. So one minus one is zero. Plus one is one. So answer is one. See here in the first question in this, he is given a tan A plus tan B. You remember one minus tan A tan B because there is some angle, there is a different angle. See here, it resembles to tan a plus tan b divided by 1 minus tan a tan b we know the formula for this is tan of a plus b so if i want to solve so this will become tan of what is that 69 plus 66 69 plus 66 so how much is b 9 plus 6 is how much 15 so 5 1 carry 6 plus 6 is 12 Six plus six is twelve plus one, one thirty-five degree. And also see here, so tan of one thirty-five. How to find this? Tan of one eighty minus forty-five degree. Tan of one eighty minus forty-five degree. If I take a quadrant, this is one eighty, one eighty minus. In one eighty minus means second quadrant. In second quadrant, tan is negative, and it's a supplementary angle. We have to take again tan as tan forty-five degree. What is tan forty-five? Tan forty-five is one. So final answer is what? Minus one. Is that cool? Is that cool? We have made an entire video explaining from here to here. Please don't forget to go and check it. Okay? Chala now. Now the next question. To solve the next question, what is the necessary formula? I'll tell you. See, sine two a. The formula for sine two a is two tan a in terms of tan. Two tan a divided by one plus tan square a. Is that good? If there is a two a, if there is a two a, if there is a two a, it has become a. So if I take sine a, if I take sine a, this will become two tan a by two over one plus tan square a by two. This is a formula. Again, if you want to write tan a, tan a in terms of a by two, that will become two tan. A by two over one minus a tan square a by two. If you do not know these two formulas, the question cannot be solved easily. Okay, you have to know these two formulas. So now they are asking to find tan a plus tan b. First, let's find sorry tan a plus sin a, right? First, let's find the tan a. What is tan a? Two tan a by two. Two tan. What is an a by two formula? X. So two x divided by one minus Tan square a by two. Sorry, tan square a by two. That is x square. We know the formula of tan a now. Let's find the sine a. What is sine a? Sine a is two tan a by two. We have one plus a square, right? One plus tan square. So two tan a by two. That is two x divided by what is it? One minus. Sorry, uh, one plus x square. We have to add both of them. So what is what is needed? Tan a plus sine a. This is necessary, right? So I can write it as two x upon 
वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू एक्स अपॉन वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर लेट्स टेक एन एलसीएम और वी कैन टेक एन कॉमन टू एक्स टू एक्स इज कॉमन लेट्स टेक टू एक्स कॉमन सो इट विल बी लेफ्ट एज व्हाट वन बाय वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन बाय वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर विल एरेज दिस पार्ट एंड कंटिन्यू सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम द लास्ट पार्ट सी दिस पार्ट इज व्हाट टू एक्स टाइम्स वन बाय वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन बाय वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर लेट्स टेक एन एलसीएम हाउ टू टेक एन एलसीएम दिस इनटू दिस दिस इनटू दिस दिस इनटू दिस सो दिस इनटू दिस इज व्हाट टू एक्स टाइम्स वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर टाइम्स वन प्लस वन इंटू वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय दिस इनटू दिस दैट इज वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर टाइम्स वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर नाउ सी हियर एक्स स्क्वायर एक्स स्क्वायर गेट कैंसिल एंड आई हैव वन प्लस वन एस टू सो आई कैन राइट टू एक्स टाइम्स टू ओवर ए प्लस बी इनटू ए माइनस बी ए ए प्लस बी इनटू ए माइनस बी आई नो द फॉर्मूला ऑफ ए प्लस बी इनटू a minus b this is nothing but a square minus b square so now what is an a value 1 so 1 square minus b square is x square whole square that will become x power 4 so if i multiply this inside 2 into 2 is 4x over 1 minus x power 4 this is the value of tan a plus sin a is that good yes Okay, to solve this, what was the necessary? We need to know these two formula. If you do not know these two formula, then it will become very difficult to solve. Okay, chal. Hey, uh, these are the one of the uh, similar questions that appear in the examinations here. Cosecant cot, cot and cos. See here, cosecant cot, cot and cot. Always the uh, answers will be something like one, or if there is a multiple, it will be two or some integers. So to attempt this, just look at here, forty-three, forty-seven. If you add forty-three plus forty-seven, if you add forty-three plus forty-seven, if it is becoming ninety degree, then the thing what you are, what I am going to say, you have to use that point here. Okay, see here, it is a ninety degree. If I add, I am getting ninety degree. First two don't touch. Let's touch this. Cot of forty-seven degree, right? But here forty three is there. So what I'll do? I'll write this forty seven degree as cot of ninety minus forty three degree. Is that cool? Ninety minus forty three is how much? Forty seven itself. Ninety minus forty three is forty seven. Now is that correct? Is that correct? Is that is that, this much is cool? Cot of forty seven can be written as what? Ninety minus forty three. Ninety minus forty three. Now cot of ninety minus theta. If I take a quadrant. This is ninety. Ninety minus that is the first quadrant, so I have to take this as positive. But this is a complementary angle. We have made an entire video. Please go and check it if you have not checked it. Okay? So look, please go and check it. Ninety minus it is a supplementary or complementary? It is a complementary angle. Cot will convert into tan. What is this? Forty-three degree. In the same way, I will not touch this also. I will. I have done this. I will take this now. Cos of forty-seven degree. What is cos of forty-seven degree? Again, you can write forty-seven degree as what? Ninety minus forty-three degree. Because see here, you will just realize it in one second. See cos of ninety minus forty degree. Ninety minus forty degree. Now what I'll do? Cos is ninety minus theta. This is first quadrant. Again, I will take positive. And cos ninety is there. Ninety is supplementary or complementary? Complementary angle. Complementary is cos will convert into sine. That is a forty degree. Forty degree. Now we'll rewrite the question. Cosecant forty-three degree. Cot 43 degree times cot 47 can be written as what? Tan 43 degree times and cos 47 degree can be written as what? Sine 43 degree. Now see here, see here. Now cos theta, sine theta get cancelled. Cos theta, cosecant theta minus sine theta is nothing but one because Cosecant theta is what? One by sine theta times sine theta is equal to one. In the same way, cot and tan, cot theta and tan theta is equal to one. So this and this get cancelled, and this and this get cancelled. So the final answer is one. Is that good? Yes. So these three things you need to know: cosecant theta, sine theta equal to one, and cot theta, tan theta is equal to one. 
See again, I will repeat what I have done here. See here, cosecant, cot, cot, and cosus there, na? There were two 43 degrees. I didn't touch 43 degrees. I touched 47. First, you need to convert other degrees, that is 47 degrees, in terms of these two angles. How did I do? I took 90 help. I took 90 help and I converted. Again, if I rewrite this, they all get cancelled. This is the beauty of a question. So, what you need to do? You have to keep two angles the same or one angle same. What if, what if there is 43, just keep 43. Don't touch. For 47, change the 47 to 43. Or you can do another thing. You can keep 47 as it is. You have to convert 43 into 47, 47. We have made an entire video on how to convert from here to here. Please go and check it. Okay? Shall. Hey, to solve this, what you need to know, you need to know the formula of a sine C minus sine D. What is sine C minus sine D? The formula is sine C minus sine D is 2 cos of C plus D by 2 sine of C minus D by 2. This is the formula. Now, we will apply to these two questions. That is sine 70 minus sine 50. In that, C value is what? 70. D value is what? 50 degree. So, this C value is 70, D value is 50 degree. So, sin C minus sin D is 2 cos C plus D by 2. That means 70 plus 50 is 120 divided by 2. 2 cos C plus D by 2. Sin C minus D by 2. That means this minus this. 70 minus 50. 70 minus 50 is 20 divided by 2. There is some number that is sin 70. Just keep it as it is. Now, 2 cos 60 degree sine 10 degree minus sine 70 degree. Cos 60, cos 60 is how much? 1 by 2. So, 2 times 1 by 2 sine 10 degree minus sine 70 degree. So, 2 and 2 get cancelled. Sine 10 minus sine 70. Now, again, we can apply this formula sine C minus sine D in this. C is equal to 10, D is equal to 70. So, we have to apply to the formula. What is the formula for that? 2 cos C plus D by 2. C plus D by 2. 10 plus 70 divided by 2. Sin C minus D by 2. That is 10 minus 70 divided by 2. So, what will I get? 2 cos 70 plus 10, 70 plus 10, 80, 80 by 2 is 40 and again sine minus 60 divided by 2. We know the formula sine of minus theta is sine theta, sine of minus theta is sine theta. So, I can write 2 cos 40 degrees sine of minus 30 degree, right. So, 2 cos 40 sin minus theta is minus sin theta. I'll put minus outside and sin 30 degree. How much is sin 30? 1 by 2. So minus 2 cos 40 degree times 1 by 2. This 2 and this 2 get cancelled. So we get minus cos 40 degrees. Is that good? Yes? Okay. Hey guys. If you like the way that we teach, please support us by liking this video and also commenting what is your doubts. We'll uh, try to solve your doubt by comment section itself. If it is necessary, we'll make an entire video explaining your doubt. And also don't forget to share this video with your friend as well. And we have an entire course that is a video course. The link is in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel that gives us support and energy to do more videos like this. Thank you and all the best.